Paul, congratulations. Tell us what this means to you. Uh, it's a very proud moment, obviously honoured and delighted to have been given this opportunity and uh, it's one I'm very much looking forward to, to getting my teeth into and, and getting cracking with it straight away. And I imagine you've been in close talks with Tan Sri Vincent Tan in the build-up to your appointment. Has the owner outlined his expectations for you for the next season and the foreseeable future? Yeah, of course he has. You know, um, Progress is expected again. You know, there's been a, a period of, of stabilisation, if you like, and uh, you know you could see there, there, there has been an upturn, um, and we want to we want to um, build on that and take that to, to the next level. And obviously that means playoffs and, and hopefully promotion. Well, in terms of continuity and support, how important is it that you already know the team? You've, you've worked with them. You've got a close bond with the boys already. Yeah, definitely. Um, we've worked um, we've worked here for 15, 16 months now, and uh, built up good relationships with the with the players and the staff and obviously know the club uh, inside out now so certainly uh, coming into this role it, it, it certainly gives me an advantage and uh, hopefully that'll uh, that'll add uh, that'll be a beneficial to to me moving forward and uh, hopefully bringing the success that we look for and in terms of the football are you looking forward to putting your own little twist on things yeah of course you know is uh, everyone's got their own uh, personal philosophies and uh, and how they want how they want the game the game played and you know we we'll certainly look at the squad and people we can we can hopefully bring in and, and add to a good group of players and and then decide you know the best way to play and uh, the best formation hopefully add a uh, add some flexibility in that uh, that means we find a solution to winning games you touched upon it there then so over the summer can we expect many sign-ins um yeah i think there's uh, by all accounts there's scope for for signings obviously there's got to be some wheeling and dealing to be done in terms of um uh, players out and players in but certainly there is there is scope and like I said there's a really good nucleus of, of players here they've shown that uh, over the season we didn't quite manage to uh, to get where we wanted to be but you know there were some some good stages of the season and certainly we feel if we can add the quality in the right areas that we can make good progress. And how about then with your backroom staff can we expect many changes there? Yeah there will be there will be um, changes in that department there will be um, uh, a wee reshuffle and uh, there will be fresh blood in in, uh, in the backroom staff as well so hopefully that will give us a, a different um, impetus and, and, and perspective um, to try and uh, to, to, to bring about the change that we're looking for. And finally then Paul with the Euros just around the corner can you just give us a bit of an insight to your Wales commitment over the summer? Yeah um, we're going to be uh, uh, meeting up with Wales um, in the not too not too distant future um, obviously with the with the with the modern world and technology how it is, I don't think it'll impact at all on uh, my preparations for for pre-season here. So, um, very pleased to be going out to the Euros with Wales. It's, it's a big honour for me. Uh, hopefully, the club the club see it that way. And certainly, you know, there's there's plenty of time within within that camp to uh, to make the preparations that I need for pre-season and the new season ahead.